Hello everyone. Um, I just want to do a quick documentation on this UI library, which I'm using for my platform. So if we just show, I just want to show you some stuff about this uh, library. So <clears throat> you can install it with npm, or you can install it with yarn in your project. Uh, but if we come down here, so this can be done in React uh, or just you know in Next.js. So I've got my Chuck root provider, which covers my layout and all my app component. So my whole app. And if we look at the components, these are what we can use in the platform. So we don't actually have to spend our time actually coding this stuff. We just use what is pre-built. So we can see here, there's a coordination. So this is what it is. So you import these already made components from Chakra UI, and you can implement it in your application just like that. But this is the code for it, of course. But it's just to simplify it, instead of writing it out manually and doing the styles manually, everything's done. Uh, one thing that I like about Chakra UI is that when you sign up to my platform, you got this effect. Uh, let's see if I can say no, that's an alert here, toast. So these toasts show up. So I, yeah, when you go to my platform, you've got this so that uh, when a person clicks uh, sign up or they get an email sent and it says if, there's an, if the email is not valid, it shows a toast error, or if the email is valid, it shows this toast, which shows account created, we've created your account for you. Right? And obviously you can change the description within the toast uh, module. But you can see there, that's how it works. We also got this, we can even set promises, so that when we identify if the user's email is valid, we wait for it, we wait to get a response. If it is not valid, we display an error and reject it, uh, or we accept it. So I like this functionality, which a Chakra UI has. You've also got other toasts, example components. So if I click this one, you've got like these ones that, and you can close all the toasts. And I don't know, I just prefer this type of functionality. So you got success toast, you got an error, you got a warning and you got an info. So these are the types of things. So basically if you, for example, if there was an error on the platform or uh, maybe if you were editing your profile and there was an error that would show up or if there's like some sort of warning something will show up um, another thing is the container obviously so the container wraps everything for you into this kind of component you've got your v stack and obviously you can define the the width and height i don't actually use this but i use the flex and the, the wrapper is what i use and the box which is actually just the div the box is actually a div component that we can see here. This is an Airbnb component example. So we can see here we've got the card, we've got the image for the image property. We've got an array which is mapping through the icons. So if we go back up here, this is the icons here, which is mapping through, I believe, I think so. Star icon, yeah, so every index, i is uh, less than property rating. So we've got fill and it's mapping through that five times and it's decreasing it on this value here. So we can see that it's going mapping through that button. Oh, by the way, we've also got a button component. Uh, so you've got your button components. These button components are pre-built. You know, these are really cool, uh, but I don't use them. I don't use any of these button components, but I think I will. Uh, but like I said, like these are cool. Like don't get me wrong, these are pretty cool, but I also just like making everything new and fresh. But also if I wanted to add this functionality where if a person saves their profile or something, this shows like a loading effect. And then once it retrieves back from the Postgres database, we can get that data, we can receive that and it'll be, okay, yeah, cool, loading, done, right? But you've also got like this type of stuff, right? You even got your check boxes, you got your input fields. I, I like the more of the input fields than anything else. The input fields are really nice. I think they really outlined and show its true functionality. I really like these types of styles for the inputs. And one more thing that I would show is probably the card component. Uh, so we've got the cards here. We've got So as soon as you implement that, that's what you see, this card component. So that is automatically done for you the box and everything, and it's just very pleasing to look at. You know, the menu, <coughs> excuse me, the menu is also what I've included. 
and I think that's about it. I don't really use anything else, but it's a great UI library to implement into your platform. It's just, it's just the best UI library, in my opinion, that I've used so far. And I would say I'm in love with this library because it's just, I'm, I, I just like the UI. Everything to do with the UI is amazing. And oh yeah, and most importantly, check this out. So if we check out the modal, oh dude, like that, that's so satisfying to click. Like this, that's cool. Like this, this is like very, you know, um, let's see if we can, yeah. <clears throat> so you've got that. Uh, another one that I like is the, uh, oh yeah, you've also got the drawer. So that when you click this, it opens this on the side. There's a lot of platforms which actually include this functionality, but I prefer to, you know, do this manually. But you know, this is still something that's really cool. I really like it. I really give a thumbs up for that. Uh, let's see if we can find something more to look at. I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm just want to skip through the content of this and show like what I like about the chakra UI library. Uh, you've even got form control, you've even got some sliders, text area, select, oh yeah, okay, I guess the one that I'll finish off is the transitions. So you got the transitions, which shows really cool transitions, which pops up. It's very nice and a pleasing to look at as well. And, okay, maybe one more, maybe just one more to look at. And I, I really like this stuff, it's really cool. So. Uh, no, we don't look at that. Maybe text area. Let's look at text area. Yeah, look at this. Like, you can include this manually, and, you know, within your HTML, JSX, and JSX just manually, but, like, just the, the color, like, it just looks nice, right? It's already done for you, like, the, the border and everything. Like, it's just nice to, it's got that nice look to it, you know? So, and you've also got these functionality where, you know, if it is valid or if it's not valid, and also disabled, right? So you can't click it in the field. And you know, for example, if you if a user is on the profile page and they're not signed in, I will disable it so that nothing can be edited and nothing will work, right? I mean, nothing can work here. The functionality isn't working, but these are small minor things that I would include in my application. Anyways, thank you for watching this. I thought it was really cool.